Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 94 of my Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. <laughs> and in today's episode, we're doing some more Nevada Craft. We're trying to progress through this thing, but there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff we gotta do. <laughs> so the next step is now that we have all of our plastic <laughs> and our um uh, lubricant here uh we gotta do other stuff with that uh i took my tanks i made a lot of this uh liquid plastic molten plastic and i put it in here and i got a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> um it did take it a little bit of time but eventually you know i put like four or five tanks in here and it'd come back later and it'd be done so yeah we got plastic uh so i want to just i guess take all of this stuff and come over here uh because <laughs> i would like to upgrade those machines and in order to do that i have to be able to make the printed circuit boards uh if you look where did i put that Okay, so let's go to here. Uh, if you see, I have this liquid compressor made, but <laughs> oh yeah, um, I can make the liquid compressor, but I need the advanced one in order to be able to produce 20 bars. Uh, because I believe, oh, this one only produces five bars. So I might as well <laughs> just use the charcoal because I have infinite charcoal. Uh, so I was thinking I needed to do the advanced liquid compressor. But, you know, we need these pressure tubes. And in order to get the pressure tubes, well, I can't really, I can't make the pressure tubes without a laser these uh, assembly units, um, which I've done before in Pneumatic Craft. <laughs> oh, by the way, in case you're trying to make the etching acid buckets, can you put that in there? The original recipe was for just an empty bucket, but this new recipe calls for a bucket filled with molten plastic so i didn't realize that and i was like why isn't it taking my bucket i don't know uh but yeah once you get the molten black uh plastic bucket it works just fine <laughs> so yeah we're we, we got to get this upgraded um i can pretty much run this guy all day too it looks like he's capped out at about four 11 is the highest I've ever seen it go, uh, but it usually 410, 411 ish. Uh, so I can leave this running non stop. I might need to put some more charcoal in there. Oh, and I always thought that you had to like be holding something to, to do this, but if you just shift, double click, oh no. I thought it was, uh, maybe it's not, there it goes, so I, I did it and I didn't have to have it in my hand, but this time you have to have it in your hand, so got a little bit of stuff in there, but I already went ahead and made the buckets of etching acid uh, there, and I made this etching tank, this is new too, because, uh, Back in the day when I was young and we had to throw our PCBs in a pool of etching acid on the ground. We didn't get no handy dandy etching tank to do it in. Uh, so I wonder how, how do we get this in there? Um, so, oh, it went in like that. Okay. Uh, this guy can hold up to four buckets. Guess you only really need one, uh, but I figured why not? Uh, I read that you can heat this, but it uses up the etching acid. So heating this will 
increase the time well decrease the time it takes well it it increases the process no i'm not saying that right decreases the process time decreases the process time by heating it up but it also causes it to use up your etching acid i don't know if that's a fast or a slow thing uh but uh, let's do this uh, so without heat the etching tank takes 150 seconds to fully etch a pcb which isn't bad that's only two and a half minutes uh, although of course it can etch up to 25 in parallel so if you fill this thing up with PCBs, it'll take two and a half minutes to etch it, which is way better than what I did because you had to do them. Well, you could do them more than one at a time, but if you didn't check it in time and you threw a whole stack in there <laughs> and you went and picked it up and there was nothing there, then you lost the whole stack. So there was that. So this way you can put these in here and they won't despawn and not have to worry about it. So that is handy dandy. <laughs> I like it. Uh, but I don't really have a way to easily produce this uh, because I'm down here in this new area. I don't have all my handy dandy fixtures. <laughs> I guess I could network transmitter stuff over here but i'd rather try and hook it up into my system my ae system which i haven't progressed enough through yet to be able to hook this this stuff into the system i'm working on it but it takes time so let's do uh, let's try to get a pcb there are other steps that it takes if you look up pcb here we go this is a finished pcb and this is an empty pcb and this is an unassembled and a failed pcb uh so <laughs> uh there's a way you can do this without having all these uh assembly io units but it's this is much easier to automate once you get to this point uh but this is very like hands-on and stuff so i wonder if there is a pcb section oh here's the part about the etching acid uh yeah you can see it looks just like a bucket until you hover over it <laughs> you can and you can see the little shining molten but plastic in there but it's not a very big difference from here Here's the PCB's entry. All right. A printed circuit board. Printed circuit boards are important components used in many higher tier machines and tools. Making a PCB requires a few steps. First of all, make an empty PCB in the pressure chamber as shown opposite. There are two methods to proceed. In a pressure chamber, provide at least 1.5 bars. Method number one. Uh, this method is the only one available initially and is somewhat slow without extra automation and heating infrastructure. You can develop a PCB chemically by putting it in a UV light box and then putting the exposed empty PCB in an etching tank to turn it into an unassembled PCB. The, etch, the etching process has a chance of failure if the empty PCB was not 100% exposed in the UV light box. You can recycle failed PCBs in a blast furnace. Cool. Oh yeah, so we don't need to worry about method number two right now because, um, yeah, you have to have the printed circuit boards in order to make uh, these, these guys and <laughs> the assembly stuff. Uh, so we need the empty PCBs, this guy. Uh, so we can make it in the pressure chamber like so, which we couldn't do until we got our plastic sheets. 
Uh, oh, and this makes three. So that's groovy. Um, all right, so let's make a few of these guys. Um, this three. That should make nine, which should be enough for now, I guess. Uh, but we need some gold nuggets um, and some redstone torches. There we go. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going to find enough redstone for all this. Okay, so what was it? It was uh, do, 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 do. a plastic sheet, two torches, and three nuggets. Two torches. There we go. Oops. And we can just throw this stuff in there. Yeah, I seriously thought I had set this up wrong because it wouldn't pull the bucket in. So, um, I need to turn this on too because it's going to start losing pressure uh, by putting stuff in there. There we go. Did we get the stuff? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> we made we made a PCB, an empty one. Now we have to put it in a UV light box. Um, the UV light box will take some time and pressure and you can get an fully um, a filled empty PCB <laughs> and then you put that in the etching tank which we have available over there so we need the UV light box uh, that box what does this guy take okay uh, these things we can do, the redstone lamps, the pressure tubes, compressed iron, easy peasy, but we need this PCB blueprint. <laughs> and the only way to get that is apparently an Amatron uh, tablet. I guess you use this and you can trade with a vendor. It's like supposed to be... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I've never really used this. So we did have like a PCB blueprint, but who you, you actually made it in a recipe. Uh, or I think in my, in my crash landing let's play, I actually got one as a reward, but you could have made it using like eight emeralds uh, so <laughs> you get you just have an extra step it's instead of making the pcb from the eight emeralds which you are technically you need this amadron tablet so we need you guy what okay here we go now now we're getting somewhere we couldn't make this until we got our plastic uh, but we need a GPS tool and an air canister. So can we make this? Uh, we should be able to make an air canister. No problem. Um, and a GPS tool. Yeah, we should be able to do that. Uh, easy peasy GPS tool. So boom, an Amadron tablet. <laughs> Better than villagers. Now, I don't I don't know anything about this. Do I right click? Uh, not enough pressure. Oh, maybe I have to charge this guy. There we go. And how's my pressure doing? It's three. Um, yeah.
All right, I'm hoping this is enough. And then I'm going to shut this off so it doesn't explode. I did have it, I had it turned on and I, I realized somewhere in my last video was an explosion and I thought it was because it was night and there was lightning, but it was actually this, uh, this valve exploded. So I must have let it get get too high and it and it exploded. Okay, so let's do this. <gasps> Look at it! You can do oh you can get the the drill. Oh that's good. I love this. You can get a revolver drum. Because we have tons of emeralds now. Um I've been getting them from my, my laser drill. My laser drill. Uh, my industrial bolt going drill. <laughs> uh, so let's get some emeralds. Here's some emeralds. All right, let's get um, what is it? The PCB. Here it is. Uh, place order. Order the items in the basket. A drone will come to retrieve your payment and another to deliver your purchased items. Okay, so um, I guess it was talking about an inventory. So maybe I need to get chest. Chest. Yep. Just so place one down and we'll put the emeralds in it. Maybe we'll just put eight because I don't know if it takes like all of them. <laughs> I've never done this before. Okay. Aha! Now it's, now we've got the, look, okay. Do this. Can I do that? Place order, um, search for a PCB blueprint. How do I? Oh, there we go. Right clicked, place order. Aha! There it is. Hello, drone. Delivery drone. Whoa, that was pretty cool. Okay, I guess he's going to bring back my. Uh... There we go. Thank you, little delivery drone. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. Sweet! <laughs> and you're done. Okay, so at least we know that that has a lot of things to offer. It's not just one. Um, so I'm, just, I'm gonna put this guy over here. Put those in there with it. So now we have our PCB blueprint. Uh, so what do you use this for? Uh, <laughs> like the only recipe that you use it for. Uh, so, uh, what's that doodad called? Uh, light props. Maybe light props. Oh, but we need to make the redstone lamps first. There we go. You read light box. Sweet. Don't forget your sunglasses. Um, we should just be able to add it onto here. No, that's not how I wanted it. Can't I can't get to it to face it the right way. Haha. -ha. There we go. Uh <laughs> now it should equal it out a little, but once I put that in there, I think it only puts uh one in at a time. Oh look at that. Ah oh eat. it's so bright. <laughs> uh so now you can see the Edge success chance is going up and it's just taking a little bit of time. 
Now that this is here though, this is going to be drawing on the air pressure. So turn that on. Make a little bit of a platform here. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> this this gets easier once you get the automation down, but it's a little bit different than what I remember. Uh buckets away. Um pretty sure these don't stack up in here, but I don't know. They used they didn't used to, so I just hate, I, let's get this one done and then I'll see if they stack. How much time do we got? We got a little bit of time. Uh, mm -hmm. It's pretty snazzy. So uh, I'm going to throw this in here. Put those guys in there. Uh, yeah, when we used to get these they would not stack up they would be uh, only one would stack and then if you sometimes when you would make them they would actually stack up but when you threw them all in your UV light box when you took it out it was only one so that would <laughs> that would be really bad uh, to do that and then lose it right at the last minute Oh, no, it was when you threw it in the puddle. If you threw it in the puddle as a stack, uh, all at once, well, if it stacked up like that, because it wasn't supposed to be stacked, uh, then then the, the bad things would happen. When you went to go pick it up, there would only be one, and then you'd cry. At least I would. Okay. Um, I am so close to getting this third one done. I need like a total of about 400 more cyanide and then I can get this one done. It's almost there, 264. I don't think I have very much in here. I've been pulling it out. Oh, 34. A good amount. Uh, it's close. It's close. I also installed this guy here, but I haven't turned him on because I want this to all go into the AE system and I'm not ready for it yet. <laughs> I, I need to, to make some more stuff in order to be able to put it in there and I probably need some more of these drives would be handy dandy in case uh, in case I overload the system. But let's check on this boy again. Hey boy. Oh It's slowing down. Yeah, certainly. I mean, I don't know. I guess if you're just really impatient and you don't want to wait until it's at 100%, you could pull this out. And then there's a 70% chance that when you put it in the etching tank to develop it, that it could fail. Uh, I don't really, I don't really remember that from, I mean, I remember it being like that from before, but I never used it unless it was at 100%. So I don't really know what it was like before if it failed. Uh, maybe you just lost it, but now they have it where you get a failed PCB if the etching doesn't work. Uh, so you can at least get a chance to uh, recover it because all you're basically in it is time. Uh, so uh, then it takes time, I guess, the two and a half minutes uh, in here. So once we get it done, we'll have to put it in here. And then I'm going to try to just stick all eight of these in there. But I don't know. Know if that's going to go. I have a lot 
more room in here than I did in the dire factory. This might be a little bit bigger uh, than what I used to. Oh yeah, so um, each one of these sides is like 64, well 65 spots. This one has one in it, so I, if I could get a stack of turbine glass, I can finish off this side. And I think I got enough to do one side, but not the other. So let's go ahead and get 64. Yay! <laughs> so now we've got to get another 256 cyanide. Too. So we need like another 210 more cyanide to finish this off. Dun, 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 dun. It's like five. Oh, we can put upgrades. Oh, yeah. We need some speed upgrades. Um, I wonder if that's something I could make now. Here it is. Speed upgrade. What did we miss? It looks like we can do this. If we had a bucket of lubricant. So check this out. What is called here? <laughs> Oh, I need that one back. So now we have eight buckets. What? We can just... Uh, the only thing that's bad is that, yeah, this doesn't... doesn't summon a new bucket for you. And get rid of the old one, right? It said it could do ten. Uh, but I didn't have, I only had eight buckets. So we'll throw these eight in there. Oh, get water go back in my bag. And then I'll get two. Let's just throw these in there real quick. Uh, upgrades. Can I? Oh, is this where the upgrades go? Oh, look, there it goes. Ta-da! Okay, let's try to put all eight in there. Nope, they only put one. Oh, look how fast that's going now. Uh, but it's dropping down the pressure a lot. So, why do I turn that on? Oh, that did so much faster. Yay! So let's go ahead and get the other two get the buckets. Um, here we go. Boop. And a boop. Oh yeah, look at how fast that's going now. All right, let's do, put those in there. Oh look, they're already doing the thing. Oh yeah, that's gonna take, that's gonna take a while. Oh, that already finished, nice. Now, I guess you could technically automate this to Input and output. Oh no, look at how fast it's draining my pressure. Okay, I might want to let that build up a bit. <laughs> oh man, this is good. Uh, 
I'm not sure if this thing has faces. Uh, hey, I can use a chef and a node. That's always a good option, right? I don't think I have a chest, though. Uh, yeah, I've got one more diamond chest. Um, so let's put our node chest. Oh, no. No, I can't do it, but I can put it. Let's just put it right here, I guess. It gets cards. Uh, I will need a filter, though. Uh, just for an item once. If I wanted to put it back into Doodad. So. The east side I want to insert in the to the chest, but I only want it to insert uh, and a fully filled uh, PCB, uh, exposed, I guess, would be the right one. Okay, so let's put this guy in here. Um, do you want it to, um, I think this has to match in order to do this since it's the same item, really? I'm not sure. Uh, but then we also want to extract, uh, nope, on the downside. Or should I, I think I should put the filter here. I think I should put the filter here. That way it will only extract the empty PCBs. Yeah. Okay, and we need to get it to extract the empty PCBs and put it into the UV light box. So extract, we'll do that on orange. Uh, so let's put a filter there as well. And say boom. Um, I think I have to have it at the MP, though. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It can only put one in at a time anyway. Uh, and then on the downside, on orange, insert. That should be it. I should be able to... Oh, wait. Huh. Oh, it already took it, did it? Oh yeah, look at it go. I'm so happy. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Now we could throw these guys in here and these other ones, uh, should be done. Oh, look at that. And we can throw bones. Oh, I see what happened. That's why where the charcoal came from. Let's fix that. That's my doodad. There it is. That one doesn't have a fixed place yet. So <laughs> I need to get I need to get him a fixed place. How's our pressure at 2.54 and we're kind of done right now so I'm going to turn him off so he doesn't explode. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and take 
needs unassembled PCBs. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it still doesn't do much by itself. All right. So now, now we get to assemble the PCB. Doo -doo. Uh, so, you can do that if you look at the recipe. This, um, this has changed a little bit. Um, the recipe used to be three transistors and three capacitors, but now it's only two capacitors and two transistors, and they've changed the recipe for these. Uh, so it's like um, a plastic sheet, a slime ball, and some gold nuggets. I'm trying to remember what it was before. It was like a plastic sheet. Like the capacitor was, uh, you had to have um, like rain seeds or something like that. I don't remember exactly. Uh, and then you had to have squid seeds in order to do the transistors. So it was, it was weird, uh, but it worked. So we need some slime balls and some gold nuggets to make a bunch of capacitators. I guess we should turn this guy back on because we're going to be using it. Uh, so we need slime balls. Hmm, I wonder where I'm going to find those. Slime balls. Uh, do I still keep my gold nuggets? For, oh, I put them in here. That's right. No, I put them in here. Yes. Uh, but let's go ahead and get... It's... And just make a bunch of capacitators. <laughs> I'm not sure how many of these it will actually make at a time. I know in the old pneumatic craft, you could put a whole stack in there, but you wouldn't be able to make it all before you ran out of uh, pressure, you know what I mean? Uh, so I might want to cut down the size of this and only do like 16 uh, because we still need to do the transistors as well. There we go. And that takes redstone and gold nuggets. Oh, that takes three gold nuggets. Wait a minute. Does the capacitator... There it is. Oh, it took two, so I need to... Put some more of those guys in there. Uh, so, if we make eight, then we'll need some redstone. Didn't it just, it just said one redstone, right? Uh... Sister. Yeah, one redstone, three nuggets. So that would be 24. All right. Oh, that's not 16. Why didn't it? Do I need to get. Did I do my math wrong? Okay, now I've got some leftover nuggets in there, so we'll just have it suck it all out real quick. There we go. <laughs> okay, so now we should be able to put those guys in. That should be correct. But I only made eight of those, so... We 
Let's do eight more. Uh, Twenty-four. Huzzah! Oh yeah, <laughs> there we go. Uh, we should be able to make a few with these guys. Oh, let's put that in there. Here we go. Oh man, okay, come on. I want to make a PCB. There we go. Nice. 2.47. All right, now we can turn these into PCB. I don't know if this matters. There we go. Finished PCB. Yes. Now the fun starts. What? Okay, now we should have some more over here. Mm -hmm. But we only have enough for eight. Uh, uh, because I looted some transistors uh, before. Oh, sweet. I think those stack now that they're finished. Nice. Okay, I'm going to have to end the episode. I totally ran out of time, but now we can take our finished PCBs and we can put them to work for us making more stuff. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!